I might quite possibly have found my new favourite prime lens and that is in the form of the 105 f1.4 and what I want to do in today's video is share with you some of the photography I was able to take with this lens around the streets of Manchester at night. I paired it with the Sony a7 IV and I tell you this is one killer combo and all the photographs you're going to see in today's POV have been edited with my presets. If you do want to check these out for yourself, a link for them is in the description below. But with all that said, let the bocalicious madness begin, starting with a photo of a tram. It is tradition and it is meant Manchester, of course. So we've got the 105 and we have got our first tram in today's POV and our second one. Oh shit! First one right there, go a little bit lower down, F14. Oh my days. Oh and get them together. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That might have been a bit good, you know. A few good shots right there. Go a little bit further up. get the person walking in front of the tram right there Woo! that is looking very good right there get a photo of this subject right here and we have got a tram coming which side i don't know i'm hoping my side yes my side follow it all the way down and get that brilliant shot there thank you guys all right gonna get a photo here of the person walking on the tram station oh that's pretty moody i do like that my highlights are a little bit overexposed but i'll be able to bring them back down in post they have a good amount of flexibility with this camera so it's all good and then i'm going to get a photo of this gentleman as he walks through the frame just underneath the sign oh that looks good yellow as the foreground wait for the back of the tram Ooh. not bad not bad at all right so for our next shot We've got Alexandria that's standing here and we're going to shoot at one tenth F14 and then what we're hopefully going to get is the tram moving in the background but her being completely stationary within the frame and the results for that are on screen and I think we got one pretty spot on image there. I'm going to get a photo of this gentleman right here at F14, maybe go a little bit higher up to get on a similar eye level to him and grab that photo there but this time what I'm going to do as well is i'm going to put it on a wide and the autofocus yes has picked it up the subject on the right hand side and now we have got a bit of an interesting separation between the empty space and the filled space from our subject on the right to the empty tram lines on the left we're going to get an incredible landscape shot right here oh yes i've taken this shot before but not at night and certainly not with a focal length this insane, this crazy, this everything. This lens combines every single crazy descriptive word together and puts it into a single lens. That is just how good this lens is. Can I afford it? Absolutely not. But it is an absolute privilege to try this lens out and take some incredible photos with it. We're gonna use this blue light right here. Alex again is gonna be posing for us because trying to wait to, for someone to walk down here will take forever and i really just want to play around with this lens and show you guys what it's actually capable of and look at that right there right so we're also going to get a landscape shot oh we've even got the tram in the background adding even more lights to the scene so for our next shot here we have got this reflection down here i don't know how much we're going to be able to get in with this 105 It'd be ideal if we could actually get a biker or someone coming through the frame. Wait for the biker. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Awesome. Product shot. Oh my days. Okay, hang on. Hang on. This product shot down here is actually pretty all right. Check this view out of Manchester. I didn't know you could get up here. So with the 105, we're just going to get a photo of the train station right here. We're going to get it in landscape as well. Oh, look at that. That is just insanely sharp on this lens. I love that. I love this. I love this spot. I'm going to have to come here again in a day, get a wide lens. Like imagine this, 16 mil or something like that. This would be insane. After we just interrupted this photo shoot so I can get a photo of the 105 that allowed me to uh, take a photo of this Mercedes right here, which against the backdrop just looks absolutely brilliant. So I'm shooting at F 2.2. 1 400th of a second ISO 4000. I'm going to bring the ISO down, bring down the aperture to f14, bring up the shutter speed a little bit. And we have just got 
fat shot delivered right there. Works a lot better in portrait and that is just insane. We're now going to get some uh, closer detail shots of the camera, the 105. Focus on the headlight right here. Get the alloy in as well. Keep it nice and centered to the frame. Oh, ho, 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 that is beautiful. I feel like I've really just intruded on someone's photo shoot, but they said it's cool, so I'm just going to go with it. Get a few photographs. It's nice to see other people actually being out in the city tonight and creating some awesome content as well. It's great to chat with other photographers as well. And this shot right here of the Beamer, oh, oh, it is beautiful. Love that building in the background, the F14. It just looks like something else. That is something I wasn't expecting on this street POV today. <laughs> I love moments like that and meeting new people. Classic photo spot of man right here. With a 105 though, I mean, does that deliver or does that deliver? And the answer is it delivers. And it's also gonna deliver as a shot in landscape as well, right there. Whew. Got kind of a cool like photo idea here. We just got Alex hanging her shoe over this puddle here. And that's gonna be a pretty cool kind of like product style shot. Oh my god, look at the uh, depth of field, look at that F14, look at the frame we are getting from that. I mean, that is sick. That is so sick, mate. Dude. Good, because my shoe is wet. Yes. Yeah. That is so cool. So there you go. Want a cool photo idea? Use a puddle, have a friend with some shoes on. Hopefully they have shoes on when they're going out doing photography anyway. But if they don't, buy them a pair and then get a puddle. Right, so for our next shot, we're going to get a photo of the Chinatown sign. We've got the uh, yellow lines right here as a leading line. Center focusing point. Oh, delivered very nicely to yours truly. I want to get a photo of this gentleman right here. See if we can actually ask him. Can I get a photo of you? Could you stand right there? Yes. Hold on, I'll just get a couple more. Oh, dude, your outfit looks so awesome thank you have a good night oh. <laughs> what a ledge oh wow this is a really moody frame right here oh check this out oh i'm loving the moodiness on that that's pretty sick you know get a photo of the bus driver right here face focus picking up as well from some distance right there i'm impressed oh gonna get a photo of this gentleman right here who is wearing the most amazing pink wellies I have ever seen. I rate them wellies. <laughs> really cool shot idea here. We're gonna use this as a bit of a foreground. And those neon signs, you'll actually see them at the bottom of the frame. So now we just need to wait for a subject to kind of walk through the frame or get a bike. Missed that bike. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I, I wasn't quick on the draw there. I completely missed. I've been waiting. Oh shit. I need a cyclist. Where's a psychopathic cyclist when you need one? Ah, ah, cyclist, cyclist. Shit. Ah, level one. Oh, the pain. Oh, subject. Where's my reflection? Everything's going wrong. Oh, cyclist. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we were so fast. He was so... You know what? I can't get a cyclist. I've been waiting here for five minutes, so I'll take this guy in a white coat. How about that? You know what? Looks pretty good, it's sharp. We're done, we're done. <laughs> I've been wet. Don't you dare, no. And he stops, no, he stops. Right, I haven't been able to get the reflection in because he is blocking it, but I'll just take that. I, I, I have been wet there way too long trying to get that, I, I give up. Look guys, there's a Rolls Royce here. Because that's how we roll. Might be able to get a headlight shot here just like so it's not parked in the most brilliant spot but with 105 at f14 you can easily get a nice shot just like that nice detail headlight shot that if in doubt go for a headlight shot oh no it's not a rolls it's a bentley my mistake also oh check this out we can get a really sick shot here of the logo f14 3200 iso that just melts away. Look at that. Cool shot right here of the NatWest building. I might actually need to go a little bit further out because of how tight this focal length is. This is going to create a lot of silhouettes into our shot. And we have got a single subject coming into the frame. Oh, just like that. Just like that. 
How has that been delivered? Oh, very nicely, first class delivery. I'll let this cyclist come towards me, then take a photograph. That way, I have been able to get a really cool shot, just like so. Look at all the background. Look at the book here. And we have a taxi right here. So I might be able to use a little bit of foreground, a little bit of framing to put the taxi in the center of the frame, have a bit of foreground in there as well. Delivering that very nice shot right there. So we're in probably one of the final areas that we're going to be exploring in today's POV and it is going so well. I am very happy with a lot of the shots I am getting today. I mean, this is such a cool street photography session with this lens. I mean, look at it. Look at my big lens, guys. <laughs> Admire my big lens. Umbrella. Oh, the focus worked perfectly right there. Oh, that's very good. What's he gonna do? Oh, yes. Legend, legend. Have a good evening. You were trying to get a bike for so long. And now I got a, I got a poser. I like it when people in cities like pose for photographs just randomly. Like, that guy's probably uh, had a good evening because of that now. Might have brightened up his evening a little bit. It certainly brightened up mine. And a really cool smile throwing up a peace sign. Nice lad. Marking nine to five. It's a way to make a living. Having fun all night. Taking photos of trams. Guys, I haven't lost my mind yet. Completely. Oh, ooh, that's kind of cool shot there of the cyclist going through our frame. Very cool. Oh, get people walking in front of the tram. All right, I think we've got enough of those kind of shots now. No, we've just got another one there. Now I think we have enough. Oh, we've got a landscape shot of two trams together as well now. We got the portrait one earlier, but now we have it in landscape as well. Gorgeous. That is so nice. We've got a cool kind of little photo idea here. We've got Alex helping out. So she's just gonna pretend to grab the phone and we've got really shallow depth of field with that F14. That's kind of an interesting shot. I kind of like that, a bit different. Nice. You know, the best thing is we're also hanging out with people when you do photography. Obviously, I would have never been able to take that photograph. So you can always just try things out with other mates of yours and just try things, enjoy yourself. It's all about photography, you know? Enjoying it, enjoying that creative process. We have got a Ferrari just chilling right here. Is this a 458? I think it might be. Let's have a little look at this beauty first. Oh, look at the engine. Yes. Let's get a few photos of this Ferrari because why not? So the first shot we're going to do is we're going to push back a little bit so we can get... Oh, Jesus. We can get a shot of the back of the car like this in landscape. Oh, that is gorgeous. What we're going to do next is we're going to actually... What I'm going to have to do is kick out some of this rubbish. Because I want to use the yellow lines as a leading line. Oh my god, this is so scruffy. Now we've got a clear frame. We can also get it a little bit closer, F14 right here. That's stunning. Oh, wow. We can get a beautiful shot right here of the engine. Oh, look at this. The heart of the beast right there. So this is a 488. Yep, yeah, this is a 488. All right, we can get a nice detail shot here of the logo. Oh, detail shots are always what I recommend when a car is parked in maybe not the most picturesque location. But what really makes up for it is having a picturesque car. And uh, this is certainly that. Right, now we've got a bit of a low angle shot here. That's nice. Oh, my knees. I'm gonna try and get a photo of the steering wheel of the car. I'm gonna get it in portrait. Might have to bring up the exposure quite a bit in post because I am shooting at 3200 ISO, but I'm happily going to bring it up to 5000. Get that shot right there. And I think we're going to have to say goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful car. And you know what? This is the first Ferrari I've seen since Carlos Sainz won the Singapore Grand Prix, which was a while ago, but that was a good race. That right there was quite possibly one of the most bocalicious and addicting street photo sessions I have ever done. That 105 pure insanity just delivered result after result i love the look that thing gives to my photographs but one thing i don't like about it is the weight it is a heavy 
lens. But one thing that isn't heavy is the hashtag Curtis Padley, and this was an awful segue. Nevertheless, kicking things off today, we have these shots by Optical slash Dialogue. Really cool shots right here. A nice Halloween theme. I like your dog. That's a really cool one, a dog. 10 out of 10. Love the creativity. We have a beautiful Lamborghini right here, too, actually, courtesy of Red Hawk underscore Captures. Love that detail shot right there. Love the use of landscape as well, and I love these detail shots isolating certain parts of the car. That is a really nice collection of shots right there. This is a beautifully framed shot in Venice, a place that I have always wanted to visit. Look at that. I love the colours on that photo. I love the framing with micro. You have absolutely nailed that shot. That is beautiful. Someone else has also been able to capture a beautiful red Falali, this 57M by CY Photography. I love that first panning shot. I love the location as well for this car and I love also the detail shots. Like look at that. That is beautiful. Love the use of foregrounds. Just amazing shots all around. <laughs> this street shot right here. This one by one dev. That just says everything you need to know about this guy. <laughs> that is an amazing moment, perfectly captured right there. I really do like these street portrait shots you've captured right here, but that first one, this is quite funny. I like that. Someone else has also been taking photos of someone else's shoes. We got this one by Shaq Picks. Always awesome and creative work, and I love this product photography you got going on right here. I love the composition and the low angle on this shot by Dem IQ. This is really cool. It gives a whole different perspective. You can see what's going on. It tells a really perfect story. The dad watching over the kid as he flies a kite. Really nice, really simple, but well executed storytelling in that shot. And the last photograph we're going to have a look at today is of this absolutely stunning, moody series of shots by Wall's Eye View of this yellow Lamborghini. This is so moody. Oh my days, that is a beautiful car, beautifully captured, and the colour grading and the editing you've done. Perfection. A massive shout out to everyone continuing to use the new hashtag at Curtis Padley over on Instagram. If you want the chance of your work being featured here on the channel, jump over on Instagram, use the hashtag, and I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more of your work over there. And if you did like today's POV, hit that like button before you leave today. It'd be really deeply appreciated. And subscribe. It'd be great to have you a part of this ever so growing community. But until next time, create, explore, and inspire. And I'll see you in the next one. Laters.